Hello, this is Dr. Lavinia. Welcome to Ra Online. Today, I'm going to talk to you about hydrocarbon poisoning. So, what and all we'll see will be the objectives of this will be the etiology of poisoning, pathophysiology, labs, management, and antidotes where available. What will be the sources of ingestion of hydrocarbons? Mostly, it can be accidental ingestion. There can be deliberate, but it's usually very rare. It's more as a recreational inhalation that is seen in adolescent groups. And there can be a dermal exposure which could be accidental. Sources of hydrocarbon are as already mentioned here and this can be categorized into four groups. Aliphatic, aromatic, halogenated, and uh, terpenes. So the aliphatic in this in the list here are like petrol and kerosene and diesel fuel. The aromatic are like solvents. It can be nail polishes and white spirit. Uh, halogenated are usually seen in the refrigeration uh, solutions. Terpenes are like turpentine uh, that is mentioned here in the list. So what are the pathophysiology? The pathophysiology of hydrocarbon poisoning, it depends upon the viscosity, the volatility, The surface tension, and any additives added. Okay, the viscosity and volatility determines how much pulmonary penetration occurs of the hydrocarbon. So, where there is decreased viscosity and increased volatility, there will be increased amount of pulmonary spread. So. When there is going into the lung, there is normally, when there is a lung spread, lung spread of hydrocarbon, it's mainly because it's more inhaled. And that is because when there is decreased viscosity and increased volatility. So the decreased viscosity causes more spread of the hydrocarbon into the lung and what does this do? It inactivates the type 2 nemocytes. It causes a surfactant deficiency. Okay. So we have already seen it in the previous list. Compounds with low viscosities are like mineral spirits, naphthalene, kerosene, gasoline, lamp oil. They spread rapidly across the lung area and this causes surfactant deficiency. Okay, so this can cause lung injury. Then the dermal irritation, certain uh, hydrocarbons like toluene, where on osho to the dermal surface of the skin can cause mild burns and some can even cause severe, uh, so, uh, increased exposure can even cause severe burn burns. Accidental ingestion of gasoline or kerosene, they can also get inhaled and affect the lungs but they can also affect the gastric mucosa it causes irritation of the gastric mucosa certain hydrocarbons like carbon tetrachloride can cause hepatic toxicity 